Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video in our channel. Do you know in Cognizant, even after getting selection, if you cannot clear your qualifier exams during your training, then you will not be able to join the organization, you will be removed from them and your offer letter is going to get revoked. So what is this qualifier exam, when it happens, how you can clear it easily in one go and how many chances are there, what is the passing criteria, everything about this we are going to discuss in this video. So if you want to know about this, make sure to watch the video completely. So let's start the video. First of all, what is qualifier exam? So qualifier exam happens during your training in Cognizant. First you get selected for Cognizant, whatever role it might be, Gen C, Gen C, Elevate, whatever it is. Then after getting selection, before onboarding as a full-time employee, there is a training procedure happens in Cognizant. There are two types of training. First is internship that happens during your fourth year of college, that is the final semester. And the other is CSD program and this happens after you pass out from college. So you will have to go through either one of these, not both. And for the both of these, there is a qualifier exam that happens after teaching you the basic levels of coding and all. Okay, just the basic levels, basic of any technology might be Java, might be C sharp, anything and SQL, these things. After that, this exams happens. And after clearing this, there is the stage two of the training happens. That is going to be your particular domain and, and tech stack based uh, training. So that's what qualifier exam is and when it happens. But let's see what is the passing criteria and all everything we're going to discuss. But before moving on, if you're new to our channel, make sure to click on the subscribe button. Join our telegram and WhatsApp channel from the description box link and make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing because we post multiple hiring, onboarding, exam, interview and industry updates every day regularly. Make sure not to miss out and if you have any other queries regarding this, make sure to comment down. So let's see. First of all, let's discuss the passing criteria of this particular qualifier exam. How much marks is needed to pass the exam? So first of all, there will be multiple questions. Okay. And mostly based on coding questions, whatever tech stack you are going through, suppose you have Java and SQL. So you can expect Java coding questions and SQL coding questions. There might be any number combination. Generally, uh, in Java, you can expect more. Suppose there is uh, three Java questions and two SQL questions like that. Okay, anything like combination, this can happen. But generally, this is this. Okay, so if you, you might have C Sharp also, you might have Python also, anything you can have uh, instead of Java. So this is the combination and also there are generally some MCQ questions. So all of these total questions, uh, overall computing this, there will be multiple test cases and all and there will be part numbers also in the coding questions. But you have to get at least 70% marks for clearing this exam. Okay, so you have to have at least 70%. So 70% uh, and more that is you're going to get 80%, 90%, the more you get the better. Okay, that's it. So that is the criteria to uh, clear the exam or pass the exam. The passing marks is 70%. Next question is, uh, when does it happen? So whenever you are going through your training, after starting your training, there is a different timeline for every domain. But generally within like five to six weeks, you can expect your qualifier exam to happen. Okay, for five to six weeks, you will get training on multiple things that might be SQL databases. Okay, some uh, coding language, HTML, CSS, these things, basics and all these things, many things can happen. It depends from domain to domain, whatever uh, technology you are going to get trained on. So that's it and then it is going to happen. And the next part we are going to discuss is how to clear this exam in one go okay because you are going to get only one chance if you cannot clear that means if you cannot get 70 percent marks in one chance then you are out of the organization your offer letter will get revoked okay so you have to make sure you are clearing it one go okay so that's how it is nowadays that if you are not clearing the qualifier they are not continuing with your uh, candidature so that's it make sure to be under make sure to understand this make sure to understand the sincerity of this and make sure to understand what situations you are in so prepare 100 percent give your 100 percent but how to do that even if some candidates who have uh, got selected in gen c and all they were not even from coding background they are from uh, other background like mechanical civil or dt these things okay they are not from csit background they have to do Greek coding questions for passing this qualifier. Okay, how to do that? First of all, the first and main thing is going to be practice. If you do not have the basic knowledge of how coding works, first of all, learn any coding language properly. 
if you already given your particular tech stack learn that but if you are not even getting onboarded yet for the uh, training program then don't waste the time use this time for learning any coding uh, languages basics so the thinking process the problem solving skills will be similar for every coding language okay but the syntax will be different from one to other so if you can solve coding problems using any of the coding language then you will be able to easily solve the same coding problems using other language as well you just need to learn the uh, syntax of that okay so coding language try to learn anything if you are waiting for onboarding as tra uh, for training but if you already started training then make sure to understand your coding language whatever is given to you properly from start to the intermediate level whatever is given in your syllabus okay and how will you know that you are ready for practicing questions now you have to check there are mock qualifier questions and all for cognizant if you are not able to access uh, or if you are waiting for onboarding also and if you want to try more and more mock qualifier questions i have a playlist de uh, dedicated to that only special cognizant previous year questions or mock qualifier questions in training i will give the link of that playlist in the description box in the i button everywhere you can go and check that playlist and try to solve the questions do not directly see the solutions i have also explained the solutions show you the solutions but try to pause the video try to solve yourself if you are not able to solve then go and check the solution or understand and after suppose uh, you are understanding it for the first time then again then after two or three days try to solve that same questions without looking at the video okay so that's how you should practice your main focus should be practicing mock qualifier questions because that is the type of questions you are going to face in your qualifier exam and you have to practice very well otherwise you are not going to clear the exam okay you have to focus on the mock qualifier questions level so that's it that's the main thing try practicing try solving your mock qualifier questions again and again again and again without watching the solutions okay practice every problem at least 3 to 4 times only then you can solve this and clear this in one go and after you clear this in one go make sure to know that there is going to be questions from sql and all also i have also have a detailed sql playlist you can learn sql from there some things are not there you can learn those things from internet also or you have been given your particular course videos and all you can check from there also but after understanding and learning sql also you have to practice sql questions by, by connecting two tables three tables like that on different multiple conditions you have to practice those also and after practicing make sure to learn the basic mcq questions from uh, different topics whatever you have okay so mcq questions will also be important because they also holds a good amount of marks so that's it if you have any other queries regarding this you can comment down but make sure to take it seriously this is a very important thing your cognizant qualifier is going to be very important for you